Explore the dark and fearful world of Black Dolphin Prison, Russia's most notorious jail known for its strict regime and harsh conditions. Learn about the chilling truth behind this feared institution and the stories of those who have experienced its brutal reality. From its isolated location to the strict discipline, this video delves into the secrets of Black Dolphin Prison that make it one of the most feared jails in the world. Watch now to uncover the hidden truths of this infamous Russian prison. It is a fact that Russian prisons are quite harsh, radical, and secure, but there is one that stands out among all. Ica 6 Prison, or by its more well-known name, Black Dolphin. In the many years that this prison has been active, absolutely no one has escaped from it. It is said that the only way out of this prison is in a coffin. The Black Dolphin is known not only for being infallible but also for subjecting its prisoners to a prison routine that literally turns them into animals. It is the prison where the most dangerous criminals not only in Russia, but also in the world reside. Serial killers, mafia members, abusers, cannibals, and extremists are part of its population of over 863 inmates. This federal government institution, also known as the Black Dolphin, is located in Sololetsk, in the Orenburg region near the border between Russia and Kazakhstan. It is one of Russia's oldest prisons, active since the 18th century. Initially, it was a forced labor camp and later a psychiatric hospital for criminally insane individuals. After the dissolution of the Cossack Rebellion in 1773, it was built for the deportation of criminals. In the year 2000, under the leadership of Vladimir Putin, it became the country's most important maximum security prison. It was renovated, fortified, and the rules within it became more brutal. Although Russian penitentiary authorities have allowed some controlled press visits to showcase it to the world, detailed information about its structure and prisoner conditions remains limited. The inmate population of the Black Dolphin is exclusively male and only houses individuals who pose a threat to national and international security, such as mafia members, serial killers, traffickers, spies, and extremists. Currently, it holds 863 prisoners, although its maximum capacity is 1,600 inmates. The colloquial name, Black Dolphin, emerged years ago when inmates crafted a sculpture of a black dolphin, which they placed at the main entrance as a fountain. The Black Dolphin houses 863 prisoners, known for committing serious crimes such as mass murders and other violent acts. It is estimated that these inmates have caused the deaths of approximately 4,000 people, underscoring the need for strict security measures in the prison. Security is overseen by over 900 guards, with plans to increase the number in the future. Prisoners are subjected to rigorous measures upon arrival. Their eyes are blindfolded to prevent them from knowing the layout of the prison. During transport, they are escorted in a restrained posture and monitored by armed guards. The cells in the Black Dolphin vary. Some are shared by two or three well-behaved prisoners, while the most contentious and dangerous are isolated in individual cells. The cells are designed with double doors and no bars to prevent suicides. Prisoners have limited outdoor access, only 90 minutes daily in a concrete exercise yard. The prison is equipped with security cameras and patrols are conducted every 15 minutes. Lights remain on at all times and there is no cafeteria. Prisoners receive soup and bread four times a day in their cells. Prisoners with misconduct are sent to a confinement cell, a small cage where they can barely move. However, some less dangerous inmates have access to books, newspapers, a library, and a church within the prison, and some cells are equipped with televisions. Furthermore, prisoners can make phone calls and receive visits from family and friends up to four times a year, including one visit lasting up to three days. The Black Dolphin houses 863 inmates, among whom some stand out for the severity of their crimes. Ivan Gordyshev, member of the Russian gang responsible for the deaths of seven people and injuring eight others. Nikolai Stanko, murdered five members of a family and burned them in a forest. Alexei Pechkov, former head of security at Yukos, convicted of four murders in 2002. Mikhail Poko, former police officer and Russia's most prolific serial killer, confessing to 81 assaults and murders. Vladimir Mudnov, known as Chikatilo's pupil, accused of nine murders in the Ross Works region. Vladimir Nikolaev, serial killer and cannibal, arrested in 1996 for cooking and serving human meat. The prison likely has a square structure with high walls and four-cornered towers, each manned by snipers. 
The perimeter is patrolled by guards with dogs, alarms, and motion sensors. Prisoners are subjected to stringent security measures, blindfolded during transport, and cells designed to prevent suicides and escapes. Most inmates have limited outdoor access and are under constant surveillance with cameras and guard rounds. Additionally, basic food, soup and bread, is provided in their cells, and some have access to books, newspapers, a library, and a church. They can make phone calls and receive family visits up to four times a year. No clear escape cases have been confirmed since 2006, although attempts have been made. Security remains stringent due to the high risk posed by these criminals. Please don't forget to subscribe and activate that powerful notification bell. Exciting videos and surprises are on the way. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, where you'll find excellent content every day.